we've got a few more topics today. So let's get to the, I think this is the third yeah. topic. This is the third topic. And uh, we're talking about my favorite company, Amazon. Actually, it's probably more, we're talking more about Jeff Bezos in this particular situation. So Amazon wants to go to space because everybody wants to go to spa space. Uh, it actually kind of feels feels like the 50s again, like there's a new space race to get to Mars. Whoever gets to Mars first, they're, I guess they're the winners. Um, Elon Musk wants to go to space and Jeff Bezos wants to go to space. Richard Branson, uh, of which I want to be fully upfront about, I do own stock in his Virgin Galactic company. He wants to go to space too. Well, Amazon wanted a contract with NASA to go to space. And because NASA was going to be giving out a $10 billion contract to team with a company to help with space exploration. And this makes sense because some of these companies are actually doing space travel way better than NASA is right now. But Amazon lost that bid. And Amazon, for lack of a better word, are big babies when it comes to losing things. Uh, several months ago, maybe even a year ago at this point, uh, Amazon bid on the Jedi contract with the Penting Pentagon, and they thought for sure they were going to get it, but they didn't get it, and Microsoft got it, and as a result, they sued the government, and I think that thing is still caught up in le le legislation right now, to the point where the contract might even be canceled because it's being delayed to the point where they might not even need it anymore, which, <laughs> if that happens... If I were Microsoft, I'd sue Amazon for uh, tortious interference, interference, but we won't go there. Well, Amazon did not get this NASA contract, and yet, for some reason, and I cannot actually fathom why this is going on, the Senate is actually preparing to give them $10 billion anyway just because they didn't get the contract. So this comes from The Intercept. Um, now that Jeff Bezos space flight company Blue Origin has lost a multi-billion dollar contract to Elon Musk's SpaceX, one of the other reasons Elon Musk is going to become the richest man in the world at one point, Congress is prepping the ground for Bezos to win a contract anyway, ordering NASA to make not one, but two awards. The order would come through the Endless Frontier Act, a bill to beef up resources for science and technology research that's being debated on the Senate floor this week. An amendment was added to that legislation by Senator Maria Cantwell, not Republican, Democrat from Washington, to hand over $10 billion to NASA, money that would most likely go to Blue Origin, a company that's headquartered in Cantwell's home state, because for those of you who are not aware, Washington bends over backwards for Amazon. Cantwell's amendment is no sure bet, though, because Senator Bernie Sanders, who I have been critical of before, I, I am very glad Bernie Sanders is not our president. However, I happen to agree with him in this case. He introduced a last-minute amendment Monday to eliminate the $10 billion and I'm going to try to do my best Bernie Sanders impression, folks. So uh, feel free to laugh if this is awful, where it says, it does not make a lot of sense to me that we would provide billions of dollars to a company owned by the wealthiest guy in America, Sanders told The Intercept Tuesday. So that's basically the long and short of it. NASA was supposed to give out a $10 billion award to a company that would help with space exploration. They chose Elon Musk's SpaceX. But because Jeff Bezos didn't like that, he gave a call. Well, this is speculative, of course, but he gave a call to a senator from Washington to include an amendment that said he would get $10 billion anyway, which talk about market manipulation. So, Jose, <laughs> uh, Thoughts on this little okay, that's not interesting thing? I mean, ten billion—that's that's nothing. That's like a little drop in the bucket. I mean, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. 
Um, oh yeah, ten, 10 billion. Yeah. Uh, I, I wish they would n send some of that not big deal our way. Yeah, exactly. I just slip a billion in my uh, right pocket and maybe put another two into my uh, Grubhub bag right here. I, I won't mm -hmm. tell anybody. I promise. Um, yeah, it's crazy, but you know what? It's like there's there's two ways you can you can approach it mentally. You know, as far as how you think about it and how you let it affect you um is it um does it make sense is it something necessary no you know uh is it something that we already know happens and, and will probably at least for the foreseeable future always be this way yes that the rich get richer yes people who are wealthy uh you know they tend to receive you know more help and bailouts and assistance so that they can you know become more wealthy the rich get richer and then the people who are struggling, they don't receive help. Is it ethical? Is it logical? Is it reasonable? Probably not. Uh, we can be upset about it. We can be hurt about it, be stressed out about it, and uh, be in a bad mood about it. Guess what? That's not going to change it. It's only going to affect our own health negatively. Um, or we can just be like, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense, but that's the way the world works. Um, on to, you know, my thing. I'm going to go spend, you know, uh, an hour watching uh, um, a Netflix uh, K-drama so that I can work on my Korean. Or I'm going to look at the cryptocurrency Ethereum and see where that's at right now. Do I want to buy a few shares? Does it look like it's going to go up tonight? Uh, I'm going to go for a run, you know, just focus on on you, you know, because you can't, you can't control it. This is just something not to get, you know, a, like philosophical or anything, but like I learned a while ago, you know, to not worry about what you can't control, just focus on what you can, because why get all flustered and, and pissed off about something that that's not going to change and, you know, and that you can't do anything about and let it, you know, put you in a bad mood if it has nothing to do with you ultimately, you know, just, you know, just do what you can. So I think that, it, it is what it is, really. It's it's it, it's crazy, but that's just the way that the world is because these big companies have an effect. I think one of the reasons, you know, for anybody that hasn't figured it out, but I'm sure a lot of people have, that, you know, rich people get richer. It's because rich people have influence. And so the government or whoever, you know, wants to hand them money also part of their own agenda because they have influence. They can do things. Yes, they don't need the money. But because they have power over all these people or, you know, they can affect people and get people to do things. Oh, here's some money because this is what we want to be done. You know, somebody with, uh, you know, not much influence who only has uh, 200 followers on Twitter or, uh, you know, 100 uh, Instagram uh, followers. Yeah. You know, they could use the 10 billion dollars because they don't have it. You know, they, they need the money. But. They're not going to, you know, what can they do with it? Do they know what to do with $10 billion? You know, are they going to put it to as good of use as somebody who already has a big chunk of money and knows what to do with it and knows how to, you know, has grown a business like Amazon and this, you know, mega powerhouse. So, yeah, well, it's, they... uh, it's, it's maybe not right, but it kind of like makes sense. It's ultimately about business, business. It's all about business, Kevin. That's 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 the name of the game. Yeah, and maybe the business here, the, the only logic I can think of is, again, this kind of must go back to the Jedi contract where when Amazon did not get their way, they sued the government. I think that's still going on. I could be wrong, but I think that's still going on. And there was at one point discussions, maybe we should just cancel the whole thing because now that this has been go dragged out so long, we we don't even need the Jedi contract and anymore it we don't even need need it and i'm kind of wondering if maybe someone looked at this and they say hey look we are way more impressed with elon musk's spacex program way more impre impressed with it yeah the guy was a little schizo on saturday night live but you know what his technology can't argue with that but if we make that announcement do we really want to be held back on actually executing that plan because Jeff Bezos is going to throw a hissy fit. Why don't we just give him his $10 billion? He'll go home to his super yacht, which is apparently a thing. It's a yacht so big, there's a yacht in the yacht. 
this, the world of the super yachts. I've discovered this recently. It's really fascinating, actually. You know, let's just give him a ten billion dollar payout so that we can basically move on with our lives once we make the announcement. That that to me is the only thing about this that makes any sort of sense. And yeah, when you're spending six trillion dollars to fix the roads, I guess ten billion is really nothing at the end of the day. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Trillion. Yeah, so maybe that's that's the real real effect. You know, the trillions you know used to uh, send us stimulus checks. Okay, that's a lot of money. Ten billion. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But I, I don't know. That's kind of my that's kind of my suspicion about that. But the question is for all of you: What do you think? I mean, you're right. I mean, maybe there is really no reason to uh, get upset about this. Uh, we'll get upset at the next stories because that actually does affect people like like you and me. <laughs> um, well, what do you think about this? Do you think the government should be doing this? Uh, we'd love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and all that good jazz.